Welcome to Orange Picks. Today, we've rounded up the biggest and most breathtaking battle scenes in movie history. We'll be talking about great war movies on Netflix, Prime Video, and HBO Max. In this adrenaline-fueled list, you'll discover epic stories filled with the brutality of war and the heroism of humanity. If you're ready, put on your armor, get your swords ready and join us, because we're going to take a look at the most fascinating and brutal side of war. Here are the 10 best epic war movies you can find on Netflix, Prime Video, and HBO Max. 성북행 온통 적들이 깔렸다고 들었다. 전하, 속해 남한 산성으로 옥체를 피하소서. The fortress is about the Qing Dynasty's invasion of the Joseon Dynasty in 1636. King Injo and his men take refuge in Namhan Sanseon Fortress to escape the Qing army. The castle is a natural defense base, located high in the mountains and with difficult terrain. The movie was a huge success in South Korea and was watched by more than 13 million viewers, making it the 10th most watched movie in South Korea. A great war and war strategy movie that you will not regret watching. I'm Commander Raiden of the 7th rank. Last Nights tells the story of a medieval era. After the unjust execution of a noble lord, his loyal knights band together to take revenge and keep his memory alive. The film follows the loyal knights as they do everything in their power to accomplish this mission, fight bravely against their enemies, and reach an honorable end. Disgrace. No! Only time will tell how we are remembered. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword presents the classic story of King Arthur with a modern approach. The movie tells the story of Arthur from his childhood, from the streets where he lived a life of poverty after the death of his mother, to his discovery that he is in fact the rightful heir to the throne. Arthur is forced to draw the legendary sword Excalibur and take the throne, but he must face great dangers on his journey. The story is an epic adventure filled with powerful wizards, dragons, and betrayal, and Arthur's evolutionary journey to become king. This is your proxy. The man who pulled sword from stone. Behold, your born king. Do not let me dishonor my legion. Please help me regain my family's honor. Our new commander, Marcus Aquil. The Eagle tells a story set during the Roman Empire. A young Roman officer travels to the dangerous lands of Britain to restore his father's honor and track down a lost legion, a symbol of Rome. The journey turns into an adventure full of wild tribes, dangerous forests, and unusual friendships. A quality production that tells the epic story of this young officer's struggle to recover the Roman emblem, the Eagle. Gladiator takes place during the Roman Empire. Maximus, the loyal general of Rome, is killed along with his family by Commodus, the emperor's traitorous son. However, he survives and is thrust onto the stage as a gladiator. From that point on, he fights in the arenas, full of vengeance, while deciphering the intrigues and betrayals within the Roman Empire. With breathtaking fight scenes and a captivating story, this unforgettable movie is a great movie to watch again and again. Battlefield is the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. Spartans, the finest soldiers the world has ever known. 300, the movie begins with the threat of the Persian Empire over the ancient Greek city of Sparta. King Leonidas decides to stand against the Persian army with only 300 Spartan warriors and other Greek allies. Leonidas and his brave warriors fight a great battle at the narrow pass of Thermopylae. 
This battle goes down in history for the extreme resistance and sacrifice of the 300 Spartans. You should definitely watch this movie, which is among the movies that will never get old. We're in for one wild night. I think I have much to tell you about history, about your history. Your father was a visionary. What did he see? That kings have a need of the- Robin Hood retells the story of the famous English folk hero Robin Hood in a modern way. The movie is about the resistance of the people living under the tyranny of King John's government, who took the throne in the absence of King Richard in England, and a group of thieves led by Robin Hood. Robin Hood flees to the forests to protect the people and fight for equality and freedom in Sherwood Forest. What's the plan? Identify the heretic. Put him in the cage. Split any man from his ass to his apple. Black Death, the movie takes place in the dark times of the Middle Ages during the Black Plague epidemic. A young priest is assigned to go to a plague-stricken village where the epidemic is spreading. In the village, people have taken refuge from death in the spells of a mysterious witch, and this priest tries to uncover the nature of these spells and the truth. It manages to impress the audience with its dark and suspenseful scenes. I am death. Vengeance is mine. God's fury rains down on you! Ah! 300 Rise of an Empire, a 2014 sequel, expands the story of the original 300 movie. The movie tells the story of a Greek commander named Themistocles and his efforts to unite the Greek city-states against the invasion of the Persian Empire. This movie features major naval battles and skirmishes against a ruthless Persian commander named Artemisia. The movie continues to expand the universe of 300 while presenting a story full of dramatic fight scenes, visual effects, and epic conflicts. If you are tired of searching for the best movie, why don't you put me to work for you? Let me do the work for you, and pick the best from every genre every week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's great to work for you. Edward, rightful king of these lands, has died. Do not assume Ethelstan will be king. The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings Must Die is a historical action movie released on Netflix in 2022. The movie is based on Bernard Cornwell's novel series of the same name and is the finale of The Last Kingdom series. It tells the story of England's struggle to transform from a fragmented kingdom into a united kingdom after the death of King Edward. Aside from the battle scenes, the most unique aspect of the movie was its adherence to historical accuracy. We go back into an age of darkness. We hope these films have thrilled, moved, and captivated you, and most importantly, that you have found your new favorite war movie. If you liked our video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, if you would like to support us, you can buy us a coffee by clicking the join button. We also welcome your comments and suggestions. Which war movies have influenced you the most? Your feedback is very valuable for us. See you in the next video and enjoy your movie time.